Oh, sorry. I was running late, so I teleported from home. What, do you think that's impossible? Well, you are probably right, at least for now. Do you know why? Because it is too complex to be true. I mean, to teleport somewhere, you need to be separated atom by atom and reassembled in the place where you wanted to be teleported. So the teleportation device works as a fax machine. It scans and transmits your data to the receiver where you will be reproduced. Now, the fax machine is a perfect example of a teleportation device. We have two identical documents in two separate places. Although it seems like we send the original one, we actually only send a copy. That's also the working principle of teleportation. It scans you in a very dangerous way and sends your copy to the place you want to be teleported. Like I said, too complex to be true. However, we desperately want teleportation to become real and part of our daily lives. Why? Because once it's here, it will let us save the most crucial thing in life, time. It will move us faster than the speed of light. But how fast exactly are we talking about here? To understand the speed of teleportation, let's make a comparison. A jet pilot would cross the continental United States only once in four hours while moving at 500 miles per hour. However, by traveling at the speed of light, you can go around the equator seven and a half times in a single second. Pretty fast, right? And teleportation is faster than that. We have seen this technology in many fiction movies. Most of them showed us the potential problems of teleportation, like in the movie The Fly. Our main character, a scientist, Dr. Seth Brundle, completes his teleportation device and decides to give it a try. Unfortunately, at the same time, a fly also wanted to test the device. They go through the process successfully, but over time, the fly's cells begin to take over his body as a complication caused by the teleportation process. Icky, isn't it? <clears throat> Do you think these movies with people teleporting by just the click of a button will become a reality one day? Of course, I don't mean the ones where we accidentally turn into an insect. I mean the real quantum physics teleportation. Is that possible in the near future? Yes, but in the quantum world. In 2017, Chinese researchers reported that they had successfully beamed a photon particle to a specially constructed spacecraft orbiting about 300 miles from Earth. The team not only beamed a quantum particle from ground to orbit, but also created the first quantum network between satellite and ground and broke the long-distance record for quantum entanglement. Say what? What is quantum entanglement, and how does it connect to teleportation? Well, it's a bit complicated, but I'll try to simplify it for you. Quantum entanglement is the theory that makes teleportation possible. According to quantum entanglement theory, some particles in the universe exhibit uniform behavior. Although these particles differ from one another, they can never be independent of each other. For example, if one of the pairs moves to the right, the other must move to the left. Therefore, if two particles are entangled, knowing the state of one will reveal the state of the other. So. When physicists want to use this theory for teleportation, they simply send one of the entangled particles into the place where they want the teleportation to occur. Let's say Mars. The other stays on Earth. They include the material they want to teleport into the equation of this entanglement by using quantum encryption. 
so they teleport the matter by encoding. The coded information takes the form of the matter by interacting with the same kind of atoms found on Mars. Like what happens when you send a document using a fax machine, remember? That's how you teleport stuff. But does the matter stay the same when it gets teleported on Mars, now that we have changed the atoms of that matter? In other words, is it still the original document, or is it just a copy? And considering the complexity of this process, can you imagine a person getting teleported? Perhaps we will have to wait for the answer to these questions. It seems like there is a lot to do before teleporting becomes part of our daily life. But don't worry, the future will find a way.